Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave welcome to the 38th annual Canyon Kickoff Captain's Meeting. We're having to do things a little differently this year, but we're still expecting to have a great event, so looking forward to seeing you there. As usual, the fishing days are two out of three. It's July 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Registration for the tournament is most preferred to be done over the phone with Amanda at 410-213-1613, but it can also be done at the club between 6.30 and 8 p.m. on July 2nd. If you come in person to do your registration, it's only one member per team, you must have a face mask or face covering, and social distancing recommendations are in place. By the way, that's the case for the weigh-ins also. Unfortunately, there's not going to be any social events, sign-up parties, award banquets this year, but we're still having a good time. That's my plan. You must declare your lay day by 8 a.m. the day you're fishing, or not fishing, I guess is the right way to look at it. No exceptions. You can also um, declare your lay day at the uh, registration. Uh, the, call the number, the same number, 410-213-1613 to declare your lay day. Again, by the start of fishing, you have to have declared it. All IGFA uh, rules are in place, except for a couple. Uh, the rod may be, the fish may be hooked by one member of the team and handed to another, but then that member must fight the fish to completion. Spreader bars can also be used in this tournament. The use of non-offset hooks is mandatory when you use natural bait or natural bait and lure combinations. There are no green sticks or danglers allowed, and the intentional use of live bait or live bait teasers is not allowed. Remember, this is a trolling tournament, so there's no chunking, bailing, jigging allowed. You may leave from either the Indian River Inlet or the Ocean City Inlet. Um, you can leave any time during the fishing day, you just have to not exceed more than 100 miles, nautical miles from the Ocean City Sea Buoy, no matter which inlet you leave from. Lines in for the tournament is 8 a.m. Lines out is 3 p.m. No lines, teasers, nothing may be put in the water until that 8 a.m. start time. Fish hooked prior to 3 p.m. may continue to be fought until the fish is brought to the boat. It's still got to get to the scales by 7.30, so you've got to manage your time a little bit there. You can actually fish after 3 p.m. if you like, but those fish do not count for the tournament. All fish must be weighed, and oh, by the way, you still have to meet the deadline no matter what you do at 7.30. All fish must be weighed at the weigh station at Sunset Marina between 5 and 7.30 at... Uh, the fish may be brought to the scales any way you wish. You can transfer the fish to another boat or a car, and however you can get it there. All fish must be weighed to a tenth of a pound weight, and that's to decide the winner. The weigh station is going to be a little different this year. Um, we're going to actually have to rope it off this year. There will be no more than six or eight staff members allowed in the area, and in the beginning, no anglers. So after they weigh your fish and they've got it all ready, if they will invite you two people, a maximum of two people from your boat, to come up and have their picture taken with the fish. 
Although we would really prefer you stay in the boat and we can take the whole team that way. So, but that's up to the Waymaster and you know, you guys can work that out. The surfaces of the tables and the scales and all that stuff are gonna be cleaned frequently. Um, everybody's expected to bring their own PPE, by the way. We are not providing any of that. Again, as I said, the vessel, um, the crew on the vessel must remain on the vessel until the Waymaster directs that they can come on it if they want to. So the, the, the preferred method is gonna be taking the pictures in the boat. That really worked out great for the small boat tournament. Obviously, anybody not obeying these rules will just be asked to leave. Uh, we really don't want to get in trouble with a Coast Guard or DNR or whoever. All, right. All catch reports must be turned into the Ocean City Marlin Club Waymaster at the Sunset Marina by 7.30 p.m. There are no exceptions. This includes the billfish release. Um, in years past, we've had people try to take them to the club. That's not acceptable. You have to come to the Waymaster at sunset. The billfish category is for white marlin, sailfish, and spearfish. You get 100 points for those. Blue marlin and swordfish, you get 150 points for those. Now, it is required that you take a picture of a blue marlin, and that is that we have to be able to prove it's a blue marlin. If you do not have a reasonable picture to show it's a blue marlin, you only get the 100 points for a white marlin release, which you know, that could cost you some money. There are no points for boated billfish either. Um, the tuna category for yellowfin, big eye, and longfin is three fish uh, can be weighed, and that is a minimum of 30 pounds. For the bluefin category, it's 27 to 47 inches small. You can bring two of those and one uh, 47 to 73. Those are your basic recreational rules, and that's what we're going by. Okay, if you... Um, the tournament channel is channel 72. Uh, 72, you have to call in all your billfish on 72. You need to identify the boat, the type of fish, and the time it was caught. Uh, meat fish don't have to be called in, but this just allows us to keep track of what's going on. Have fun, be safe, good luck, and God bless America. We expect to see you there and have a great time.